Hello and welcome everyone. We have today with us Murga Vel Janki Raman, who is the founder and CEO of Matrimony.com. Matrimony runs several online brands such as Bharat Matrimony, Community Matrimony, and Elite Matrimony. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Janki Raman. Thank you for having me. Mr. Janki Raman, you were working in the IT sector in the United States. Then, how and when did the idea of matrimony take shape? Uh, it was in late nineties. Uh, uh, I was working as a consultant in the U.S. During that time, uh, uh, you know that uh, there were frenzy in the startup community. There are so many portals and uh, and e-commerce companies were created during that time. That was the first wave of uh, dot com boom. So I was uh, good in my programming skills. Uh, I, I come from a humble background. Uh, so, but uh, you know, once I settled in the U.S. in terms of as making a decent money as a consultant, but I, I there was a, a entrepreneur in me started you know kind of showing his signs. I want to do something on my own. I was not sure where to begin. Since uh, I came from uh, Tamil Nadu, so I want to do something targeting a Tamil community living outside of India. I, okay, I thought okay, let me provide uh, various services which should be useful to the Tamil community. I was working as a consultant in the daytime, and the, during my evenings and uh, you know and the weekends, I was building a Tamil community portal, providing various services which I thought would be useful to the Tamil community. Things like uh, Tamil calendar, festival reminder, and Tamil friends discussion forum, and matrimony was one such service as part of the Tamil community portal. When I saw where people were coming for the matrimony section, the Tamil community website. I realized there is an opportunity to, to launch exclusive matrimony service because at the end of the day, a Tamilian wants to get married to a Tamilian. Okay, that thought process led to launching a exclusive matrimony site for various language speaking people in India. Initially, I wanted to only Tamil matrimony. Then uh, finally, I decided okay, launch matrimony service for all the people in India. But again, the approach we took is not single brand. We, we took a multi brand approach because everything. Originated from Tamil community website, so we launched Tamil matrimony, Telugu matrimony, and then Marathi matrimony, Punjabi matrimony, and we want to give the umbrella brand. That's why the Bharat matrimony came into an existence. So thankfully, I was also laid off post the dot com bubble bust. So that uh, gave me the opportunity to get full time into the business, and uh, then I moved back to India in the year two thousand four. Then no looking back. So basically, yeah. So without having an idea. But to an idea, the word of Piyatam, the idea became a, a passion. I mean, I was so passionate about the idea, and the passion today has become a purpose. So my journey has been from no idea to an idea to a passion to their purpose actually. So what yes, is the purpose? Yes. Yeah, so, just to add to what is the purpose of matrimony.com? Today we run multiple businesses. The purpose of matrimony.com to build a better Bharat through happy marriages. Future of the country depends on its citizens. Good citizens come out of good parenting. Good parenting possible in the happy marriage, and you want to be the gateway to the happy marriage. So, to to put a simple in a single line, to build a better Bharat to happy marriage, that's a purpose. So, my journey has been from that's why the kind of you know, I I call myself as an a an an accidental entrepreneur. Not really. I thought of an idea, and over a period of time, the idea got germinated. Then idea became passion, then become a purpose. So. what a beautiful purpose you have mm-hmm. uh, so what were your major challenges in the beginning you know including the funds see the major challenge initially that uh, i did not even have an idea okay i was so passionate about the tamil community website i remember uh, uh, initial days uh, i thought look we are just building this website where there no revenue at all i said no i just I'm so passionate about this whole thing because i'm happy that people are coming to my website and using the services Initially, uh, the challenges were uh, obviously it was bootstrapped. My initial investment was ten dollar per month, and during the, uh, I know, and before I was laid off, I was investing almost a thousand dollar per month. That was my maximum investment, you know, per month. After that, uh, the the business became self sufficient because once I moved a full time into business, we were able to generate a revenue because it kept as a paid service, and uh, we raised only limited fund. Uh, even two thousand six and two thousand eight. 
uh, in the two uh, two rounds, whatever it is, between the 2006 and 2008, it is around $20 million. Even the $20 million, whatever it is, concern, the most of the money, literally I would say that almost all the money went after new ventures because we launched various vertical that point of time. And uh, so if not, the matrimony.com actually literally was built without any capital. What are the challenges? Uh, multiple challenges. Uh, raising money, getting, you know, obviously it was bootstrapped, always uh, we are tightly managed that uh, the entire uh, the growth and attracting a talent was a challenge that part. We are talking about way back in 20 years ago, the today's startup community is thriving and, you know, today so much of uh, success we are seeing. It was not the case 20 years ago. Attracting talent was a challenge. And also more importantly, in our category, we played on peculiar challenge. People, some other people did not want to associate with the matrimony company. So it's a marriage broker company. It's a technology company. <laughs> but some of them, you know, they are that uh, the mindset, okay, it's, I'm, I'm working for a marriage broker company. So it's a tech company. So we had some challenges also, you know, attracting talent also was a challenge. So, and again, as a first-time entrepreneur, I didn't have all the expertise or, uh, to run the business. It's not that today there's so much of ecosystem, support system, many things available. The many things was not aware. In fact, for me, everything was a learning because from the all aspect, from HR, finance, marketing, and everything. And uh, so I went through various challenges, over a period of time, learned many things, made mistakes. And uh, yeah, in the process, I was shaped uh, in the, the, you know, today, definitely I would say that uh, doesn't matter how big the business become, I have the ability to manage the business, but I went through various challenges uh, from, from funding to attracting talent, the category, and I don't did not have the required expertise uh, to manage the business. But there are some challenging moments also. We had uh, so it was a tough, challenging, some tough situations. And able to successfully overcome those challenges, it further strengthened me and uh, shaped me and sizzled me. So yeah, there are multiple challenges. So when when did you actually realize that your business is now stable? from 2004 onwards? Uh, I would say that uh, one part of time I thought, okay, look, the business, uh, you know, because the most of the money was invested in the marketing. And, uh, and because this business has economics of scale, but at a certain point, till they reach a certain point of time, I was spending more money in the marketing and uh, we did think, okay, where is that the point? But over a period of time, brand becomes so strong today, majority of the profile acquisitions are organic. Uh, I know that probably I would say that from 2008, uh, not till 2006, it was bootstrapped. We are just growing at a certain pace. I think opposed to also fund, funding and 2009 went through a most challenging situation and uh, where the global crisis happened, a global recession that point of time. And I think I went through a challenging period almost for close to uh, nine months. I think that was a turning point since the no looking back, actually, I'd say that. How has the Indian marriage market evolved over the past two decades? So Indian marriage market has evolved in the sense that initially, if you look at uh, maybe 30 years ago, the parents were in the driver's seat. And in the absence of online matrimony, uh, prospective brides and groom limited by the choice, what they're able to get through to their friends and uh, or relatives or uh, the reliance on other mediums where probably those mediums were able to serve only uh, limited alliances. What the online matrimony sites have done, it's going to empowerment to the woman. Okay, today women are not restricted by limited choice what the parents are able to bring. Also, last couple of decades, what has happened? The parents who are in the driver's seat today, they become the passenger seat. Today, who are in the, who are in the driver's seat? It is the prospective bride and groom in the driver's seat. Okay. Thanks to the online matrimony said given the empowerment of the woman, also the advantage of technology. And India also has a progress. Okay. So I'd say that from the parents, from the friend seat to the back seat, the young, the prospective bride from the back seat to the driver's seat. And the, as I said, it has given the empowerment of the woman and it has changed the way the people look at life partner. From one of the last, one of the one of the choices or the last choice initially when you started, we pioneered this category. Today, it has become the primary choice for people to find a life partner. There are multiple ships. The category become the preferred mode medium. The way the people looking at a life partner has changed. And uh, so. so. COVID has affected many businesses over the past two years. How did it change your approach, business, and also strategy? Uh, the, definitely COVID uh, has 
accelerated the digital adoption in India, okay, which everybody knows. Definitely the video, today we're having an interview through video, okay. Uh, today, definitely video adoption has been one of the uh, significant things happened during the COVID. So we did launch a video profile, video calling feature. So today, because of people are today comfortable uh, you know, doing everything through over the video, we launched that feature. And uh, as I said, the digital adoption has taken place. And uh, so, but our category did not face any serious uh, impact because of COVID. On the contrary, because of the reason I said, you know, digital adoption, we saw a good surge during the first wave of COVID. But the people coming to office were, were was impacted. However, the number of people signing up for the matchmaking platform that really gone up during the COVID period. So it become normalized now, but we saw that adoption. So I think in a way that COVID has accelerated digital adoption, digital usage in India. And uh, so all these things are going to be a beneficial for this category in the long run. What could have been the possible reason behind this increase in number of subscribers, you know, apart from pandemic? Was there any social, uh, you know, reason also? Yeah, yeah. So see, when, when, when people are going, when, in normal situation, when people are going to office or, you know, they have the other social life, when during COVID time, when people are constrained and they're not able to go out, okay, then, you know, when they're working from home and people are not able to do other things, obviously the marriage would, would otherwise for some people, some personal people who otherwise, you know, maybe in the back of the mind or probably they would have got delayed, that got accelerated or advanced. So I think that has pushed the number of people signing up for the matchmaking platform. So now we are seeing the third wave of pandemic, which came all of a sudden. No one was expecting, you know, about this wave. How has this affected your ventures like Madhav.com and Wedding Bazaar, which are into, I guess, event management kind of? Yeah. Well, I think contrary to, uh, compared to the last, uh, to, you know, two waves, I think I think today everyone knows that this is going to be a short one and a mild one anyway, because... Uh, is that the number of people required to hospitalization is very less only. And uh, so we expect this going to be over in a couple of weeks. So definitely uh, there is an impact because uh, doing that, uh, the early stage of COVID-3, you know, there's some other government are known that you know, only certain number of people can attend wedding and order. It did have some impact. However, the wedding services contributes a small part of our business. So this impact may be a month or two and in a small part of our business, net net overall matchmaking business, obviously it's, it's doing fine. So, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a temporary and we expect to bounce back soon. You are the largest player in the matchmaking segment uh, with two main competitors, I guess, Shadi.com and JeevanSati.com. So do you have any plans to acquire them? Uh, no, we definitely have a 60% uh, market share. We are largest players in this space. And, uh, you know, if there is opportunity, I think we may consider, okay? Uh, but again, we have solid plans. Uh, to grow this category and if you look at the last four quarters uh, we have been growing at uh, a consistently double digit growth we have been growing and it's not seen the case with other players so i think uh, as a it's not only category leader and you have a sufficient levers and uh, the plans to continue to drive our growth if there's opportunity you may consider but that's not going to be the the primary thing yeah we can evaluate if there is any opportunity the pandemic, pandemic has also seen, uh, you know, the changes in, in the ad spend, you know, a lot many brands, they are spending more on digital platform. Since your venture is already on the, you know, online side. So how does it impact your ad spend? Well, the one thing that's not only for us, I think everywhere there is a shift in uh, spending. Uh, we are one of the largest spender. We spend almost close to a 40 crore or 160 crore a second of uh, ad budget what you have per year. So the predominant of the, the yeah the most of the budget is spent on tv but uh, over a period of time you are shifting the budget to online but still at this point of time still tv still dominates our market expense however there's definitely a clear shift uh, from offline into online that is happening mm -hmm. so we would also like to know your own manager story i found my life partner through matrimony.com bharat matrimony uh, i was looking for a life partner based out of Chennai or Tamil Nadu, probably someone speak Tamil and uh, someone from engineering background. And uh, I was at another expectation as well. Eventually got married to someone who was born and brought in Gujarat, though Tamilian. And uh, it's an interesting story. Uh, I was looking for a life partner and uh, it was my father-in-law who had created a profile of my wife. 
and uh, initial correspondence was with father in law and uh, and his first expectation was send your horoscope only if horoscope matches then you can you are allowed to talk to the girls thankfully it matched happily married for more than 21 years and is one of the early marriages meaning in the sense that through through matrimony.com as i said i had certain expectation but the person who got married is complete opposite of my expectations not born and brought up in tamil nadu or chennai and uh, not an engineer in fact uh, my expectation of age was 3 years or 4 years younger my wife is 7 years younger i ex- i give the example to people looking for life partner have the clarity between what is a must and what is preference the thing about i want a person from tamil nadu or engineer or 3 years younger all preference not a must but i wanted a person from a good family at someone supporting my entrepreneurship that is a must for me so when people looking for alliance we should have the clarity between what is a must and what is preference so sometimes people don't have the clarity of what is a must and what is preference so you know happily married uh, and the 21 more than 20, 21 years and uh, one of the early success stories of matrimony.com so yes. have you analyzed you know on your portal that what is the biggest deciding factor in a match making uh, see the, the deciding factor is very from you know very from men and women so what men expect is that they want the the girls sort of pleasantly looking and uh, from a from a family which is kind of you know good family that's what the primary expectation uh, from men obviously degree holders that's a that's expectation on women on the other side expert the men were settled okay and you know the income or you know that that the what kind of job they do i think those are things become the the predominant deciding factor in all that because what men expect is different than what women expect probably they look for you know the the guy who is kind of caring loving and but definitely that the their, their financial thing or job and income is all one of the important criteria mm-hmm. what are your uh, plans for future expansion or maybe any new venture the expansion plans uh, we already expanded into bangladesh we want to take the success of bharat matrimony.com to the global south asian market uh, we are one of the leaders uh, sorry we are the number one player in sri lanka as well we are in the process of setting our operation in sri lanka we are we have muslimmatch.com we have a which is for the global muslims who are looking for alliance and we have a country specific on muslim match making offering like we have malaysian muslim match arab muslim match we have various such offering plus wedding services you know you know mandap.com weddingbazaar.com we consider ourselves a global wet tech company that means global matrimony global matchmaking services plus also wedding services for india as you progress you may expand into wedding service in other market as well but india has a very good opportunity for wedding services so expanding our offerings and matchmaking to the global market and and uh, capturing the opportunity in the indian wedding services market thanks janki raman uh, thanks for taking time out to speak to change for me thank you very much thank you thank you for the opportunity nice talking to you